Hi there folks, it's David again, the hairy Scotsman. Well, the diabetes has died down from the last two American Sweet uh, videos I've done. So, as you can probably see from the thumbnail, or at the start there, depends on how it's worked out, um, I'm going over to British Sweets, ones that I've not had in a long time, ones which I really quite enjoy. Um, I won't be eating all that pile that I showed you, well not right at once anyway, I'll sort of take a nibble of each one, or a, a few of them, and then I'll be doing another one or two videos later on, just to sort of get through the rest of them. Because some of them here, we've actually got three different versions of the same thing. Like, we have the original Lion Bar, Lion Bar with white chocolate, and the Lion Bar with peanuts. So I'd only really do one of them. Um, what else is similar? We've got two different types of Yorkie, We've got the Ordinary Original and we've got the Biscuit and Raisin. So I don't know if do one of them at the moment. Um, and we'll just sort of take it from there, I'll see what I fancy doing. Give you a wee description of what each one is. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this. If you don't make it to the end, if you find what I'm saying interesting, there's a little button somewhere down there which says subscribe. Um, it would be greatly appreciated if you do, because of the way that YouTube's going just now, at the end of the month, well not even the end of the month, they'll be demonetised on all this. Um, I'm not in this for the money, but it helps buy the chocolate, um, which is something which I quite enjoy, so <coughs> anything you just can do to uh, subscribe, hit the wee bell or whatever, greatly appreciated. Right, so where will I start off? Um... What do I enjoy the most? Right, what I've not had for a while, we'll go with that one first, is a Caramac. Now, I used to have these as a kid and they were absolutely amazing. It's like a white chocolate with caramel through it, but it's a blended in so you don't have a lump of caramel. It's uh, actually embedded in the chocolate, or blended into the chocolate I should say. So. Surprisingly, it hasn't broken. That's it there. And you can see it's written on it, Caramac, just in case you forget what it is when you've opened up the packet. So I'll break a bit off. Mm. That's good. It tastes of white chocolate. It's quite smooth. But you can still taste the caramel I don't like the burnt back note of the caramel. That is really nice. I do enjoy them. It brings back some really good memories. Mm. Right. What else can we go for? Right. This I've never really seen anywhere else apart from Scotland. I was going to do a, a Scottish sweets one as well. I thought about saving this, but. I actually really like these as well, so I'll bring this up. This is a ruffle bar, which is raspberry, like raspberry coconut inside, I think, if I remember rightly, covered in chocolate. Oh, jings. They don't make them easy to get into nowadays, I tell you that. Right, that's what it looks like. I know it doesn't look the most appetising thing in the world. Um, we'll break a little bit off. Right, maybe it's not coconut, it's kind of a weird filling. Let's sit there. So let's pop that in. Hmm. Definitely tastes coconutty. Um, but it's definitely like a raspberry taste as well to it. That is really good. I'm going to drop a bit on the floor. Pick that up before I forget it. Right, what else? Ah, the old favourite. Maltesers. I believe these in America are called Whoppers. Um, they might be similar. They might be the same thing. They might be totally different. But it's basically... Pull it out. A little chocolate ball, which has like a malted honeycomb inside. Oh, 
So there we go. Which is quite crispy. Pop that in. These are really lovely. What I like doing with these is if you do a hot chocolate, you, some people put marshmallows in them. I actually prefer it. Well, I'll put them off there. Would. I actually prefer it with Maltesers in it, which the outside sort of melts slightly, but then you get the, the puff of the inside as you're drinking it, and it's just so, so good. You can put multi, uh, marshmallows in as well, a squishy cream on the top for utter decadence. In fact, yeah, why not? Just go for it. Now, what next? Right, let's go for one of these. I've seen on a lot of other videos um, people eat these and as soon as they've taken a bite you get this really weird look on their face and they're that's horrible. Fries Turkish Delight. Now, I know a lot of people say that sweets shrink over the years but this is, def this is probably Two thirds the size, probably knocked a third off the size of this by the looks of it. It is absolutely scrawny and tiny. Now, I mean, yes, I'm a big guy. I've got hands like number four shovels, apparently. But come on, that is tiny. Now, the way I used to eat these, um, I don't think you can still do it. It's the chocolate's so thin on it. The chocolate used to be really, really thick on these. And what I used to like to do was nibble the chocolate off the end and stick my tongue down the top here, peel off all the chocolate on the top and then eat the, the jelly inside. Basically, if you know what Turkish Delight is, it's like a, you get lemon and rose flavoured jellies. You get other flavours as well, but the lemon and the rose are the main ones. This is like a rose flavoured jelly. Um, it's quite, a, would I say a strong flavour? You definitely know that there's a flavour there, we'll put it that way, and then the chocolate sort of mingles through it as well. The traditional stuff doesn't have chocolate on it, it's got like powdered sugar. Um, but we'll go for a little bite of this, I don't think I'll be licking the chocolate off it. Well, not unless I hold it much longer, it's going to melt in my fingers. That is so good. Um, that's what it looks like inside. It's like a deep red jelly. Um, as you can see, it's quite firm, um, but there's a lot of give in it as well. Uh, they're just, these take me back years. They are so, so good. Um, if I wasn't just sort of working my way through this, I could quite happily eat all these without even slowing down. Um, what will we go for next? Let's have a think. I've seen a couple of these in the sort of described before and a lot of people really go for them. This is the Peppermint Aero. Um, again, these are, I've had these for years and they are so yummy. They're quite light, they've changed the design a little bit, in fact they've changed the design quite a lot. They're now like little bubbly bars. Before they were just sort of sectioned across and you just broke a section off. Well, you can still break the section off. There's a wee sort of line that you could split it in two. This has actually got, well we won't say what they look like, but um, we'll say an uneven surface, like two bulbs. So you can break that in half again. And inside, if you look at the texture, if it'll focus that tight, so I have to put my specs back on to see if it's focusing. Yeah, kind of. I still want to focus on my face. There we go. You can see it's all sort of bubbly inside. And it just sort of, when you bite it, it just kind of falls apart in your mouth and melts. Mm. And the mintiness just comes through the chocolate as well. That is so good. Mm. You can probably tell there's not a lot of sweets that I don't like. I do wish I brought a drink with me though. I'll remember that again for the next time. Um, what will we try next? 
what we've had so far. One, two, three, four. We've had five so far. We've got quite a lot left. Let's go for a whisper. Because there is another type of whisper as well. But we'll do that in the next one. This is a whisper. Um, they do a whisper gold. But we'll keep that a secret for next time. The whisper is... Right, I, I can describe it like... The arrow is like big bubbles uh, going through the chocolate. The whisper is small bubbles going through the chocolate. So, again, it's just like a big block of chocolate. Let's break a bit off. Maybe what we see there, it's quite sort of... It looks sort of moussey, but it's not. It's a harder chocolate than that. So we'll take a wee bite of it. Mm -hmm. That is equally as good. Once again, Cadbury's. Um, this one, it kind of melts in your mouth and coats your mouth as well. And all the little bubbles burst off it. It's so nice. Oh, I could quite easily finish that again. Um, what I'll maybe do is have maybe another one or two and then call it for today because that is really starting to dry my mouth out a little bit. We'll go for another fries one, I think. This time a fries chocolate cream. You used to get quite a lot of flavours of this. Uh, it's down to about two or three now at the most. You used to get one which had all a load of flavours through it, which was really nice. Yeah, a spearmint one. This is the peppermint one. Um, I think there's an orange one, but I haven't seen that in a long time either. I'm trying to break into this is quite fun. There we go. But I usually find these break quite easily, and they're all so, all the uh, creams sort of come out of them. But this is quite a fresh one. There you go, it says fries on it, it's already broken into its sections. So you just break off a wee section. Like that. Now, ooh, that's quite a firm cream in there. Uh, as you can see. Yeah, it's very firm. But that's nice. The plain chocolate with the mint really works well on it. Let me finish that bit. Mm. That is so good. But, the chocolate's quite claggy. So it takes quite a bit of eating. Um, the peppermint's reasonably strong on it. But once again, Maybe it was because it was the end bit of the chocolate, so it had more chocolate on it. So it really, the plainness of it really cuts into your taste. So you can really taste the plain chocolate. And the mint, once the mint sort of eased off a bit on it. But that is lovely. I do enjoy them. So what was my last one just now? Let's have a think. Something that won't take too much... We'll go for a toffee crisp, made by Nestle. Um, apparently, these have got the highest calories per bar of chocolate, I heard somewhere. And people take them up to the Arctic and the Antarctic and all that, just to get their calories up. Because they're reasonably light, they're small, but they're full of energy. Well, calories. In fact... What does that say? Different pair of glasses so I can actually read this. Each bar contains 198 calories. Wow. Basically what it is, it's 18% toffee, crisp cereals 11%, milk chocolate around it, um, and loads of other stuff in it. Jeez, there's stuff in there I can't even pronounce and I'm not even going to attempt it to be honest. But, it does taste good. 
so let's pop this all open. Right, the chocolate's melted a wee bit in the corner, or it's burst in the corner, so you can see where the toffee's coming through. That's what it looks like. So we'll take a wee bite. That's inside. These are lovely. I like them just out of the fridge. Um, so it's a break in your mouth and you chew through them that way. This has been out of the fridge for a while, but it's really good as well. Full of energy, full of taste, and really yummy. So, what I'll do, I'll call it a day just now. Well, actually, before I do, I was asked recently in one of my other videos who my little friends were at the back. So, I've got my pal Batty. Who's just uh, sits about? We've got chicken and a little pal Ratty. He comes along to say hello and sort of keep his eye on me. Um, apparently, Batty fell off the back of the chair in one of my last videos, and someone said, "What was that thing that fell off the back?" Well, that was Batty. And he was sober, which makes a change. Usually he'd be hanging that way, being a bat. But he likes standing up as well. So, I'll head off just now. Um, I'll do another video in about a week or so with the rest of these. Hopefully then the diabetes will have died down. Uh, I'll remember a drink as well. Uh, if there's anything you want to see me try my hand at eating, sort of sweets or biscuits, basically anything like that, um, let me know, I'll see what I can do. If there's any sort of drinks you want me to go through, like Scottish drinks, fizzy drinks, bottled waters, anything like that, um, let me know, as long as you don't want me to drink Iron Brew, because I really cannot stand that stuff. Um, yes, I am, I'll open and admit, I must be the only Scot in the world that cannot stand Iron Brew. To me, it tastes like drinking bubblegum. But, We'll hold that for another day. Hopefully you won't make me drink it. Um, talk to you all soon. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Try and get my numbers up nearer that thousand. I mean, I'm on, I think it's 274 at the moment. But we're heading there. Um, if all 274 of you out there are watching this, hi guys and girls. I know that you're all over the world. Um, and I really appreciate you uh, hanging in there, watching my name drivel, whether I'm having a rant or eating a bridey or eating sweets or whatever it is. Um, what I plan to do coming up is actually sort of go around some of my favourite areas. Um, I've done a couple of wee videos on Dunfermline before. Um, there's other bits that I can take you around as well to have a look at. If there's any places that you fancy seeing, give me a shout. I'll take you for a wander around them. Um, and we'll see what we can do from there. Talk to you all soon. You guys take care. Uh, be good to everyone. See you soon.